I love The Little Girl Who Lives Down the Lane. It may be one of my favourite Jodie Foster films, although nothing would be at The Silence of the Lambs. This is a 1976 film directed by Nicholas Gessner and written by Laird Koenig. I hope I've pronounced those names correctly. I am really bad at pronunciations. And the description from IMDb sums this up really nicely without giving any spoilers. And it was actually initially this description that kind of enticed me to to read this, to watch this film. And it is as follows. 13-year-old Rin Jacobs lives alone in a high-class Quebec small town. But unknown to the neighbours, she is leading a secret and dangerous life. 13-year-old girl... I don't know what happened to that sentence. 13-year-old girl lives alone. I mean, the possibilities for this being a dramatic horror are endless. And I'm not going to spoil any more than that. It is brilliant, though. I will say it is driven by the character of Rin. Jodie Foster's performance is absolutely brilliant. So mesmerizing and captivating and quite eerie and unpredictable and I think it's that unpredictability of her her actions her behaviors her attitudes I just think she's she's a fabulous fabulous character and I thoroughly enjoyed her performance in this Martin Sheen is also brilliant um as Frank and I will say expect the unexpected with this I at least I personally found that it wasn't actually very predictable I maybe didn't have any specific thoughts about what it might be about but whatever I may or may not have thought is not what was delivered and it's absolutely brilliant. Is there anything about this film I would change? No, I don't think there is. It's an hour and a half, maybe maybe the length, although of course I don't ever think a film should add padding for the sake of adding padding. But if the story had the possibility of being slightly longer, I would have enjoyed it for even like le- No, I, I don't know why I can't speak today. I would have enjoyed it for a greater length of time without feeling bored, I think. So that's something that I would have really liked. But again, I always respect a film that doesn't last longer than it needs to because it shows that they know when to get rid of fluff that's not necessary. And this really is brilliant from start to finish. And there isn't anything in there, in my opinion, that could be considered padding or fluff. It's atmospheric. It's fascinating. It's unpredictable. Jodie Foster is brilliant. And 7 out of 10 on IMDb for an average rating, which is very respectable. I think that's a you know, a really good rating and something that's definitely worth shouting out about. I think they've done a brilliant job with this. And if you like horror, check it out. I'm not the biggest fan of 70s films. I know that's, you know lumping every film into the same bracket but if you said to me what's my favorite horror horror century decade um I swear I've lost my mind today um it would be the 80s I don't watch that many horror films by choice that were from the 70s just for the simple reason that I've yet to find that many that really appeal to me I gravitate towards the 80s but this is definitely an exception and makes me want to go and watch other 70s horrors if you can recommend any that you think are worth watching no please do I'd be happy to, to take some recommendations but for now I'm really happy with this one